Dino is secure by default, which sounds good, but what does that really mean? Well, with Dino, the developer has to opt in before their code has access to sensitive information like the file system, the network, and more. Let's build a small web server to demonstrate this using the dino.serve function. Let's go ahead and create our server over here in server.ts. We'll create a function called handler and handler will return this response type. We're going to return a new response and the new response should have this string that reads hello from Dino. The second argument that we'll pass here is an object to set headers for our web server with a content type of text slash plain. Then we'll use our dino.serve function and we'll pass in the handler. So let's go ahead and pop open our terminal here. We'll use control backtick to make that happen. We'll type dino server.ts and Dino is requesting network access to localhost 8000. Dino is going to ask if it's okay that it does that, which is extremely reasonable. If you needed to borrow a friend's bike, would you just karate down their door and grab it? No, you would ask. And that's what Dino does too. So here we can type Y to allow this. Now we have granted network access and we're listening over here on port 8000. So now if we go to port 8000 and refresh, we should see hello from Dino. By default, when we run this and we request our network access, we have to say yes or no. But you could also let Dino know that it's okay to use the network by passing this flag. So we'll say dash dash allow dash net server dot ts. That will go ahead and listen on 8000, as would Dino dash capital N server TS. That shorthand works too. It's also possible to set permissions to allow or deny environment access, file system read access. You can also allow or deny file system write access. Network access, as we saw, system information, running subprocesses, and much more. If this opt-in permission system feels familiar, that's because it's modeled after the one you see in the browser. The browser is always asking, do we want to allow the microphone? Do we want to allow the webcam location services? It's always asking us to opt in. Dino does the same thing with these sensitive APIs so that our apps are more secure at runtime.